Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do uh, a quick reading for you. Um, I guess it'll be a love reading. We'll see uh, how your person feels about you, how you feel about your person, uh, what's the outcome and the best advice for you Cancer. All right, so let's get into it. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing these cards for cancer, giving them a clear, concise message. All right, let's get into it. So cancer, let's see how you feel about your person. Cancer, how do you feel about your person? How does cancer feel about their person? How does cancer feel? Woo! The devil card. <laughs> you feel like they're absolutely toxic. Um, trouble. You're unsure about this connection, about this choice. Um, you don't know if choosing to be with them is going to lead you to another path of just you know, maybe um, some sporadic, volatile, toxic behavior um, is going to lead you to feeling trapped in your mind, in your heart. Um, I just heard maybe this person doesn't understand how you feel when they do this, when you when they walk away, when they act out, when they when they are outburst. They don't understand how you internalize that or you interpret that. Um, You feel like uh, it could be third party also. You just feel like there's a level of maybe you getting stuck here. That's all the devil energy is about. Stuck energy. You know, um, no growth. Life is about expansion and growth. When you find yourself in something where there's no expansion, there's no growth, it's probably toxic or it's probably stagnant or it's not where you need to be. I mean, that's the number one prime indicator. So um, you just don't want to be in any, anything like that. Let's see how your person feels about you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn also. How does cancer person, how does cancer person feel about them? Wow. These, do you know this is polar opposite? That's what I was saying about maybe this person doesn't know how you interpret and how they interpret the connection here. Both of these are six cards, but this is the bad choice and this is the good choice. So your person feels like, um, like this is a match made in heaven. This is the perfect union. You guys need to come back together. This is soulmate to inflame, whatever you want to deem it as. Um, this is a, highly passionate sexual union union this is um a significant connection in their life uh, it means something uh they may feel as if this connection is systemic they can't get out of their system you feel that way too but you feel it in a, in a negative toxic way they feel it in a very loving caring wanting you back wanting to start over type of way Polar opposites of how you both are viewing the connection. That's that's funny. That's interesting. Uh, someone's viewing it from a high level. The other person's viewing it from the low level. Maybe this in a life is about interpretation. Maybe that's how you are interpreting the connection. It's toxic. The other person is interpreting as this is perfect. It is where I need to be. Um, this could work. It's significant. This is a life altering change. Uh, it's a choice. Let's see what the outcome is for you, Cancer, and you and your person. What's the outcome? Four of Swords. So you're both going to have to think on this. Take some time and think about what do you want in the long term, longevity, um, in the long run. Maybe there needs to even be some healing. You or them, they or you, both of you, I don't know. Um, some time for self-care, maybe to restructure some foundations and yeah, restructure 
some foundations, maybe even for somebody to get stable, even mentally or emotionally. Maybe some emotional trauma is causing mental instability. So somebody needs to heal all of that. Um, this could be you, Cancer. It could be the other person. Um, this is just a period of time of rest and meditation. This is the outcomes. And, and this is, could be very temporary, especially with the Four of Swords. Um, it's just that you both need time to think about what is, what is it you want in the long term. Okay. So let's see. What's the best advice for you, Cancer? What's the best advice for Cancer? What's the best advice for Cancer? You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Best Nine of Swords. So the best advice for you is to go through the dark night of the soul. Um, you need to feel the feels. Okay, so this is when the emotions and the thoughts attack you mentally. Maybe you need to feel how it feels being without this person. Maybe you've done so much or you're doing so much. Or you're keeping so busy to where you're not even processing the emotions and the thoughts. You keep yourself busy. But this is when you can't get away from it and you have to deal with it here with the nine of swords. You have to deal with the, how you feel, how you're thinking about this. This is the best advice for you. This is the best advice for you in order to get your power back in terms of what to do next, in terms of either release, uh, release and go forward with or release and go forward without. But something about needing to feel, needing to be by yourself and understand what it is to be without this connection or be without this person. Um, we did speak of healing, four of swords, five. Maybe you need to process the, the hurt, the pain, maybe the mental games, maybe the discord, the disruption, and the drama that was here. Um, you need to process everything that transpired here. Once again, an energy of keeping yourself busy, um, you need to get to a place of actually letting those emotions ta attack you so that you can actually just let it all go, let it all out. Because you feel like maybe this person is, this relationship is a soulmate, it's systemic right now. You might even need to get over some childhood trauma or, yeah childhood trauma maybe how you were thinking or how you're thinking you you need to get this is um being in an analytical nature also analyzing this you need to do that uh that's the best advice for you right now is to actually feel the feels because maybe you both how you you both are viewing the connection is so funny it's it's the exact polar opposite you view it as toxic, the other person views it as loving, the higher vibration of toxic. Um, is divine. They view it as divine. You view it as devilish and toxic. Someone is saying, I give you money, that should be enough. Um, soulmates, twin flames, I said it. Um, and that's what's going on here. Um, maybe you have a lesson to learn. They have a lesson to learn. Um, it's not just all on them. It could be on you too. Um, something's been keeping you preoccupied to where you aren't really processing these emotions. I would choose you. Uh, maybe that's what someone is saying to you or vice versa. You're saying to someone else. Someone's saying, please work with me. It looks like there's an energy of um, I can't choose right now. Um, so someone can't choose. They would choose you. They're asking for you to work with them or vice versa. This is what you're doing. It looks like there's an energy of maybe it could work. You got to change your way of thinking. Someone gives you money or, or, or resources or things and they think that you should interpret that as love. Because they're interpreting the relationship as love, as divine, as a soulmate twin flame connection. 
but you could be interpreting it as devilish, toxic. Something about reshaping how you're thinking. Also with the nine of swords here, you need to look at your own personal philosophy about love and relationship and life um, and how you are acting, how you were, because the nine is singular. So you might need to think about what it is to be without this person, um, your own personal philosophy of how things should go. But once again, we don't control people. We just learn to live with them or we learn to live without them. So you got to determine what it is you want to do. Somebody's saying that they can't choose, okay? Um, they would choose, but they can't choose. That could be a very temporary energy, too. We have a lot of choices here. You got 666 coming up. Six, six, the six, and the one and the five reduces down to a six. So, yeah, this could be um, karmic connection. It could be uh, something could be very happening very significantly in the month of June. Maybe you need a month or so to cool off. Someone wants you to work with them. I heard not against them. All right, Cancer, if this resonates with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link if you're feeling moved to do so. Um, that's everything, Cancer. Take care.